uh, people need seven to eight hours of sleep. It's been studied and known that women do tend to sleep longer than men, although the need for sleep is equal in both sexes. The other uh, issue with women is that we tend to be lighter sleepers than men. We tend to have more fragmented sleep, more arousals during sleep, whether that starts because of having children um, or because of hormonal issues. You know, I don't think that's been teased out, but uh, we need the same amount of sleep. Hands down, insomnia or difficulty going to sleep, staying asleep, going back to sleep after waking up, hands down is the most common uh, sleep issue for women. There's multiple reasons for this. Uh, one is hormonal. We know that hormones affect uh, sleep very significantly in women. Uh, progesterone tends to improve sleep. Low estrogen tends to disrupt sleep as well as low testosterone. Women can have sleep issues around their menstrual period, uh, before pregnancy, after pre pregnancy, and definitely, definitely, definitely uh, with menopause, uh, with hot flashes being the most significant uh, cause of sleep disruption uh, in, in women at that uh, time in their life. I have been surprised at how many women I have diagnosed with narcolepsy later in their life, how they got through their life to that point, I, I just don't even know. Sometimes people just think it's normal, that, that I'm just tired a lot. It's just normal for me, um, but it's not normal. It's, it's not normal to have to take naps after having a full night's sleep uh, that needs to be evaluated. Um, or falling asleep at inappropriate times, you know, reading a book, watching TV. Um, I, I never fall asleep when I'm doing those things, no matter how tired I am. So, um, so, so be aware that people can have idiopathic hypersomnolence or narcolepsy when that is treatable. In menopause are the most dramatic uh, hormonal changes uh, and, and causing uh, hot flashes and cause insomnia because of the uh, imbalance in, in hormones in menopause. And uh, it's, it's a difficult thing to treat, especially if you don't want to go on hormones. Typically, the insomnia part of menopause resolves over time. I am way past menopause, <laughs> and it hasn't really resolved for me, uh, nor have the hot, hot flashes. It's gotten a little better, but... Um, but hormones are extremely uh, contributory or imbalance in hormones are extremely contributory to sleep issues. And that's true in men also that um, are dealing with prostate uh, cancer uh, treatments and things like that. So their sleep also uh, becomes disrupted by those issues.